ZL Entertainment. Greetings, boys and girls. I am Jack Down from ZL Entertainment, and today we're here for another episode within the RPG Maker MV series of Let's Make Legends of the Soul Walker. Today we are doing the, um, we're going to continue with the time system. Alright, so I'm, I'm listening to the stream right now as I'm doing this. Um, but don't worry, I'm going to edit the audio of that out because that would be annoying. But sometimes I just like hearing somebody else talk while I talk. It feels less creepy that I'm just talking to nothing. <laughs> so, um, we're doing a tenth screen. That's what we're going to do now. Um, honestly, this part of the thing I've never done before. I mean, it's probably better to go with... It's probably better to go with, like, tracks lighting or something like that. But, um, it's just best to kind of try this ourselves. So, yes, this is something where I haven't actually <laughs> completely done before. But all we're going to do here is look for hours. It's going to be control branch hours. And each hour will be a different thing, so we're going to need 24 of these. This is one. Let's see if I actually did a 0 to 20. I did do the, uh, 1 through 24. I did it proper. Just wanted to make sure. So there we go. Now we have to figure out what kind of time, kind of tint we want. 30, 40, whoopsie daisies. And then 155. Uh, you know what? We want a bit of a fade in though, instead of it just being instant. I should have probably did that for my. Uh... Would a second of a fade in be good? Maybe, yeah. So yeah, let's give it a second instead of being instant. Actually, maybe even two seconds. So it's one second of on the one side, and then one second on the other side. I am saving because, as I like to call this program from now on, is Crashy MV. Because it crashes like every five minutes to 60. So there we go. We have our tent screen. Alrighty. So let's see what we've got here. Let's watch as our system works. So before I play this though, we have our whole time system working. We have the time system right here. It's looping constantly updates every six frames. This is that we change the tinting based on the hours. The parallel process is going on. We do it with the game time. And, um, yeah. Basically what it's going to do is parallel this. And since it's parallel, it's going to do this constantly. We could put this into a loop to make sure it stays constant. I only did that with this because I don't know why, honestly. But once it's a parallel system, it should constantly loop anyways. It should always check. It's going to work. Should work. I've never done it like this before. Time system's not working. Get my favorite punk looking girl. I gotta hide that stuff. Is it working? Is it working? Maybe I should put this all in a loop. Alright, so this should work. Maybe that's why I have it on uh, loop, just to be like on the safe side. But yeah, it should work. I mean... It just checks the hours. Um, once again, I, I do need to do something for this. In fact, oh, we, yeah, we won't be able to do that. Actually, um, there is a thing I was able to do, but sadly, um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything. Let's not worry about that right now anyways. I'm just going to wait here, and I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to speed up time. Just so we can see it work. We're getting really close to the next hour. And I'm thinking I know what's going on. I'm going to change the time system to one frame. And then uh, it'll go really quickly so I can see like if it actually is working. You know? 
I might have to do something. I might have to nest all of them in together. Do you have an idea of what I might have to do if this doesn't work? I I was sure this was going to work, but sometimes when you do the equal sign, it doesn't work. You kind of need the e greater than or equal or the less than or equal. But in this case, it's going to be the greater than or equal. So, so far, I don't really see any tinting. So let's get the setup proper. Like I said, this ain't a tutorial. This is me figuring out how things work and don't work. So, I'm going to need to have the else. And we're going to put this into here. That's what she said. Alright, I like to make sure I save. Let's do a double one, actually. Um, let's make the current time to... 20 and let's see what that looks like I'm guessing it actually probably worked the whole time and just you don't see much of a difference at these hours well something's happening for sure that doesn't look like it's evening then again those black sides just look really weird imagine being in the forest at night time alrighty let's see uh, let's see if it actually works I'm guessing it will because it We've, there is some kind of tint going on. Oh yeah, so it actually does fade in. That's that's really cool. It feels a bit too fast, but at the same time, it kind of um, well, the game time's not this quick, so it might feel more normal. Yeah, I don't know why it's not very dark anymore. Maybe I did actually mess things up when I set it up. But anyways, it does work. So that's good. But I actually may be using the Terax lighting system. Not that I want to. But I might be doing that. I'm going to set this up to less than or equal to. And then I'll come back. All right. There you go, as you can see, they're all uh, less than or equal to. So, yes, let's uh, save and save again. Alright, so I want to uh, make sure it still works when it hits 1. That's why I did the whole um, less than or equal to thing. Because once it hits 1, it should like go back to the top. I think with the uh, looping, it didn't do that. So, yeah. Um, I just realized something. Mm, I don't think anybody else noticed it. But... It's supposed to go to 23. I mean, technically, it can go 1 through 24, but the problem with that is when it shows the hours, it's going to go 1 to 24, and it should go to 23, 59, and then back to 0. So, yeah, I would like a proper hour system, but, um, so yeah, that is something I need to do because when it gets up to 23 it should be 2359 and then it should go to zero 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 and thusly this should be taken out and put up here and this should actually be the zero hour, which is 24. Cut, paste. And yeah, that's what it should be. So it should go from 23.59 and not go to 24. I, I'm going to have to check. <laughs> I'm going to have to check the footage to see if it went from 24 to 1. That means it would have been 25 hour day. I mean, that would be cool. I like the number 25. It's pretty much my favorite number. But 
I wanted to make this more Earth-like, so he could have done that, but then um, I would have had to add an extra time. You know, basically, it just looks weird. I mean, as a variable, I would want it to be 1 through 24, but it, the time up here counts based on that variable. There we go. See, it looks a little bit better now. Yeah, it's working better now. I don't know why I said there would be two zeros, but whatever. It actually looks better with one. So yes, this it's working much better now. This is way better. That's all I had to do. So I found out the thing, and that's, that's that. You run across problems sometimes when making games, and you just got to figure out what's going on. Especially if you're like me, if you want to make sure everything is done on your own through common events, then, um, yeah, that's, that's just what I like to do, you know, I just, I want to make sure I do everything, and if I need, really need a plugin, then I'll get it, but sometimes you'll just have to troubleshoot, and that's how you make games. Anyways, um, that should be it. This is definitely going to be another 20 minute video. It took an hour to record this. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed this. See you guys all next week. Love you all. Peace to you. And stay safe.